Greetings from the Embassy of Israel in Washington, D.C. Uh, greetings to the supporters of Israel bonds across the world. Special greetings to Howard Goldstein, to Israel Maimon, to Zev Rubenstein, and to everyone at Israel Bonds uh, for celebrating 70 years of support for the State of Israel. We just got some great news a few days ago where the United Arab Emirates became the third country to announce that they would be normalizing their ties and effectively making peace with the State of Israel following Egypt in 1979 and Jordan in 1994. So it's been over a quarter century since the last time an Arab state said that it would normalize its relations uh, with the State of Israel. And I want to thank all of you at Israel Bonds for your role in making that happen. And let me tell you why you had a role in making that happen. Because as Prime Minister Netanyahu has said for many, many years, in fact, for decades, he said no one makes peace with the weak. They make peace with the strong. And you at Israel Bonds, you've made Israel stronger by investing in Israel decade after decade after decade, investing in our development, enabling us to not only strengthen our economy, but to be able to have the resources we need to invest in our own security because you were there for us. And you were there for us in good times and bad, in lean years and in fat years, making sure that we could develop into the country the remarkable global technological power that Israel is today. So from the beginning, three generations of supporters of Israel bonds have been partners with us. And because of that strength, we now have days like we had just last week, where an Arab state recognizes that, you know what, it's good to make peace with Israel. It's good for them, it's good for the region, and I think it's very good for the world. And I want to thank you for your support of Israel bonds and encourage you to continue uh, to support Israel bonds so that we can continue to enhance Israel's security, to strengthen Israeli prosperity, and yes, to expand the circle of peace.